The co-founder of Chicago's Joffrey Ballet, Gerald Arpino, would have turned 100 years old this year. To celebrate, a foundation named in his honor is hosting a two-nights-only centennial celebration. It's this weekend at the Auditorium Theater, featuring seven ballet companies from across the country. And Cameron Mason is a former Joffrey dancer and ballet master and now stages Arpino's ballets around the country for the ballet. She joins me now this morning to tell us everything they have planned and tell us what he truly meant to the dance community. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to be here. Thank you. It's great to have you. Uh, please tell us who was Gerald Arpino and what, what did he mean to the dance community? Oh, wow. Gerald Arpino, um, he founded the Joffrey Ballet in 1956, uh, co-founded it with Robert Joffrey, and he was the resident choreographer of the Joffrey Ballet, certainly in its early days. About one-third of the Joffrey Ballet's repertory was choreographed by Gerald Arpino. He gave a real identity to the company. Um, when Mr. Joffrey passed away in, 2000, in uh, 1988, um, Joffrey, uh, Arpino became the artistic director. We're still in New York. And in 1995, he made an amazing, brilliant choice to move the company to Chicago, where he was artistic director until he passed away in 2008. So he really, really uh, just had such a, a strong, voice for the Joffrey Ballet and strong voice in the dance community as well. Yeah, it sounds like he made quite the impact uh, to the yes. dance community. Talk about what makes his ballet so so special, different, important, and so mesmerizing. Oh, yeah. Well, you can see the range of what he did. He had ballets that were so classical, ballets that were contemporary, ballets that dealt with social issues. Um, he's, his uh, signature was energy and movement and, and um, passion and love and romance. And all of his ballets reflected that. Um, he, first and foremost, also was an entertainer. He wanted audiences to leave the theater having fallen in love with dance. And I think this weekend really shows the range of the types of works that he did, all of them so exciting, so energetic, so romantic and uh, full of love and full of feeling, and everyone will feel something from what they see. Yeah, let's talk about what audiences will feel and, and what they will see during the centennial celebration at the auditorium. I, I understand the programs are almost completely different each and every night. Each program is different, yes. We have a kind of the, the Arpino favorites, the ballets <laughs> that have been done across the, the nation and the world, really. Um, and what's kind of unprecedented about this particular weekend is major companies from across the U.S., the, the largest, most well-known companies across the U.S. are all coming to Chicago to be on the stage presenting Arpino's works, a variety of works. So you're seeing American Ballet Theater, San Francisco Ballet, Joffrey Ballet, of course, a Ballet West, Oklahoma City Ballet, Eugene Ballet, Complexions Ballet. They are the top-notch companies of the country coming to Chicago to celebrate Arpino's choreography, Arpino's legacy. And we are just so excited. And people that haven't seen these ballets in a while are mm. definitely left, definitely going to fall in love with what they see on the stage. Well, it sounds like an absolutely beautiful way to honor such an important figure. Uh, you saw the absolutely. details there. The Gerald Arpino Foundation presents a two nights only centennial celebration September 23rd and 24th at the Auditorium Theater. Cameron, such a pleasure meeting you. I love your spirit and uh, best of luck with the with the show and the program. Thank you so much. We are so excited. It's going to be great. All right.